Consider the combustion of propane. C3H8 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Using the smallest set of whole numbers, the sum of the coefficients in the balanced chemical equation for this reaction is A7, B9, C12, or D13. In a chemical equation, the number of atoms must be the same on both sides of the arrow for each element. Let's count the atoms in the unbalanced equation. There are three elements shown in the equation, carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Carbon atoms are found in propane on the left. There are three carbon atoms in C3H8. On the right, carbon is found in carbon dioxide. There is one carbon atom in CO2. Hydrogen atoms are found in propane on the reactant side, and there are eight hydrogen atoms in propane. On the product side, hydrogen atoms are found in water, and there are two hydrogen atoms in H2O. For oxygen, we find two atoms on the reactant side and three atoms on the right side two oxygen atoms from CO2 and one from H2O. We can see that none of the three elements are balanced. Here's how we balance the equation. Let's start with carbon. Since we have three carbons on the left and only one on the right, we need two more on the right. The way to do this is to put more carbon dioxide on the right. So now we have one, two, three. At this point, carbon is balanced. As a result of adding more CO2s on the product side, we now have more oxygen atoms on the right. We now have seven oxygen atoms on the right, six in the three CO2s, two, four, six, and one in water. At this point, Carbon is balanced, but the hydrogen and oxygen atoms are still not balanced. Let's try to balance hydrogen next. We have eight hydrogen atoms on the left and only two on the right. We need to put more hydrogens on the product side. To do this, we add more water molecules. So now we have two, four, six, eight. Now hydrogen is balanced. Again we have affected the total number of oxygens since adding water not only adds hydrogens but also oxygen. Let's recount the oxygen atoms on the right. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We now have ten. At this point, carbon is balanced. We have three on each side. Hydrogen is also balanced. We have eight on each side. But the oxygen is not balanced. We only have two on the left and 10 on the right. This means we need to put more oxygen on the left. We do this by adding more O2s to the reactant side. Now we have two, four, six, eight, and ten. Now oxygen is balanced. So the balanced chemical equation has one C3H8, five O2s, three CO2s, and four H2Os. We can summarize everything by writing the chemical equation like this. We put a coefficient of 5 in front of O2, a coefficient of 3 in front of CO2, and a coefficient of 4 in front of H2O. We don't need to put a coefficient in front of C3H8. If no coefficient is written, it is implied to be 1. So the sum of the coefficients is 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 4, which equals 13. The correct answer is D.
13. We know that what we have here is the smallest set of whole number coefficients because the greatest common factor of 1, 5, 3, and 4 is 1. It's not possible to divide all of them by the same number to get a set of smaller whole numbers.